goodness. Yes, guys, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you are watching, wherever you are in the world. My name is Ms. Drew. I am your hostess with the Moses, and of course, I'm back on your screens with another MX Breaks, giving you the best in lifestyle and entertainment. Now, today, I've got a few things for you. We're talking about the Kumerica craze, which has expanded beyond Ghana. Guys, beyond Ghana. Also, James Gardner has been talking about the motivation of his acting career and an American dentist has been sentenced to jail for performing a dental procedure whilst on a hoverboard. Crazy. Now let's start with the award-winning Ghanaian actress Rosalind Nguisa. She has bagged a one-year ambassadorial, ambassadorial deal with Photostore, which is a photography studio in Ghana. Now last week the actress captioned her Instagram post Thank you, Jesus, it is sealed, which triggered speculations that she got married. Now, she has, however, denied that she has tied the knot, but was indeed celebrating her ambassadorial deal with the CEO of Photostore. Now, the CEO, he's actually called Mr. Ozone's Kalu, in a statement said that she was chosen to the brand, chosen to be brand ambassador because her acting prowess and works in the community is ideal to boost their brand. And Rosalind remains one of Ghana's talented and relevant actresses. Now, she has also been in the industry for over a decade and still counting which is amazing. Now, interestingly, interesting, another side, and more actors are doing amazing things. Ghanaian actor James Gardner has revealed that motivation, what motivates him <laughs> is getting, what, motiv what has motivated him in the acting industry is that according to him, getting the free opportunity to kiss ladies in movies was his motivation. A. James Gardner, he's a handsome man. I'm sure he gets plenty girls. Why does he want to be in movies just to kiss girls? Well, he explained that during his first audition with Young Father Production for an acting role, he was given the opportunity to kiss a beautiful lady and that got him hooked into the career. Interesting. Well, this is not the first time James has talked about kissing roles in movies. Remember, he once said that his best kiss on set was with a Nigerian actress. Ooh. Now, also, James claims that the trending video of him repeating amazing while hosting the VGMA's red carpet was doctored. Ish, ish. Are we sure? Are you sure, Mr. Amazing? Now... Ghana, we love Ghana, but right now it's Kumerica to the world. Now the Drew, Drew I said Drew, you know, because I'm so obsessed with myself today. I'm not even joking, guys. <laughs> so the drill music is a genre mainly found in America and the UK. However, rappers in Kumasi, Ghana, have also been developing their sound in that genre. Now the term Kumerica was used to coin the drill music locally produced and recently the rappers and producers are getting the recognition that they deserve. Now the song Sorry by Yao Tog featuring four other Kumerican rappers went viral and is finally shining the light but the hype doesn't end there. Honestly guys, Billboard Italy also wrote a feature on the song and its creators. Now as though the trend couldn't get even more popular, Vic Mensa, an American rapper, signed to Jay-Z's label, yes, you heard it right, Jay-Z, shared on Instagram that he was joining in with the trend and would hop onto the beat as well. Eh? So a few hours later, he posted a short video of himself in the studio with his verse to the song playing in the background. Now, the internet is going wild. Have you guys heard? Sorry? And what do you think of Kumerica? Now, I know Accra's getting jealous. They've been doing Accra and or Takrade and all that stuff. Right now, even though I'm not even from Kumasi, Kumerica to the world. Now, let's go to another side of the world and talk about America. We've got the amazing Queen Latifah, who has launched a benefit to help black and Latino communities who have been affected by the corona pandemic. Now, the multi-talented rapper, singer, actress, producer, she's like, wears so many hats. She understands the impact that the pandemic has had on minority communities across America. Now, in collaboration with the American Lung Association for hashtag Act for Impact, a live stream filled with celebrities such as Whoopi Goldberg, Gabrielle Union, my twin, Common, and many more. 
Now, the proceeds of the event will be sent to the Organization for COVID-19 Initiatives. Now, with the funds, they hope to continue to give you out free face masks, invest in research, and as well, brainstorm ideas to close the diversity gap. Now, I think this is a great initiative and something that we should all actually keep in mind. Now, we do have a little bit of a video, so let's hear what she had to say. Hey, everyone. I just wanted to let you know how thrilled I am to announce that I'll be partnering with the American Lung Association to host their first ever live stream benefit, Act for Impact, on September 26th. All funds from the event will go directly to Association's COVID-19 Action Initiative, which is helping protect the lung health of all Americans, especially those in underserved communities. This project is close to my heart and I'm excited to work with the organization to bring awareness to the ongoing health disparities that have disproportionately affected Black and Hispanic communities during this pandemic. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, moving on for my Prison Break fans. Surprise, surprise. Yes, indeed, Prison Break could actually very well be back for a sixth season, guys. Six. Now, the popular TV series that originally started in 2005, yeah, five years ago, more than five years ago. Hey, my maths. With the latest fifth season concluding in 2017, seems like it might continue. So Fox previously stated in 2019 that they had no intention of reviving the show. However, it seems like those plans might be changing. In an Instagram post, Dominic Purcell, who played Link, the brother, who is originally sentenced to jail, addressed the rumors. In an Instagram post, he commented stating simply that there will be a season six of Prison Break. Ooh. No official statement had been released, so the fans aren't sure what to think. The official statement or not, we at MX24, we're waiting. And of course, I will bring you that news straight to your doorstep. Now let's get into lifestyle. So any DIY fans, mm, the DIY craze seems to still be, you know, popping off. A lot of people are using their natural talent. And now we've seen a young TikToker by the name of Nava Rose, who quickly gained popularity for her impressive DIY outfits. Yeah, now I've been seeing a lot of DIY things though, people making dresses out of scarves. Now this girl has gained a lot of attention because she was able to transform a fake Louis Vuitton bag into a whole outfit. And then she went to a Louis Vuitton store in it. Imagine the Chican audacity. <laughs> so she has since created several different looks, including an outfit from fake Gucci. She stated that she also prefers working on the DIYs herself and is looking forward to trying other bags like Fendi and Dior Dior. I could never, honestly, wear something fake and go into the shop. But honestly, what she's doing is very impressive. Now onto my last story. <clears throat> A little bit serious. Now imagine your dentist on a hoverboard. Yeah. A former dentist, Seth Lockhart, has been sentenced to 12 years behind bars after he was filmed extracting a patient's tooth while standing on a hoverboard. I feel like right now everybody is doing a lot of things for fame. <laughs> now, the video was taken and sent to his friends and acquaintances. It eventually gained so much attention that a lawsuit was filed against him for unlawful dental acts. Oh my God. I mean, can you imagine a hoverboard and you're extracting somebody's teeth? Like the thought of that is the most outrageous thing in the world. I mean, it's not only that an incident has been, he has been charged for, but guys, He's also been charged for medical assistance fraud. Illegal practice of dentistry and reckless endangerment are among the long list of the 46 felony counts that he has been charged for. Now, if I was sitting there, you know, getting my teeth done and I found out that he was doing it on a hopping board, definitely a raise cause for concern. But guys, that is it for my stories for today. It's been a lot, isn't it? Your girl's been tongue-twisted. I need some water. Your girl, Miss Drew, I'm out of the building.